I don't know if you have seen the brand new Beaver Builder 2.0, but this is a completely different look. What you'll see here is I can change which modules I want, right? WordPress widgets, anything that I have saved or back to their standard modules. You'll notice that their modules have now been grouped differently, right? The basics we've seen before, but now a group called media, actions, which really help you go, okay, I, you know, I need to understand the difference between what I'm trying to show people. Um, these are things that I want people to interact with and then a layout, right? And we got some others in here. Uh, so you have all that and that's the modules. Uh, also row structure looks different, right? I mean, it's, we, we used to do one column, two column, what have you, right? But the structures are, are looking different here, right? And again, you can get into uh, any of your saved stuff. Uh, templates are now physically visible to you uh, right away, right? Um, and you can, again, go back to anything you've saved or anything else here, right? Um, so it's a different structure to it. You're also going to notice that it's uh, faster, right? So we'll come in here. We'll build a couple of different things here. So uh, let's drag two columns on, and we'll come in here, and you'll notice how quickly this loads uh, and how fast it's doing the work. And that's because they changed all of it from PHP uh, to um, JavaScript, right? Uh, let's see, most of that's the same. I'm gonna hit save, right? So we get this, I can come in here. I can also change, I forgot to change the background color, right? So we'll go back over to our background and pick from the options, color, and pick something here. Um, maybe not as dark. That's good, right? And so we get our dark background and we get our uh, columns the way we've always seen it before. So that's that's not a big deal, right? Come back in here, we get uh, access to all the stuff uh, that we're used to, right? So we might wanna drag a video in here, right? You can go into your media library or you can do the embed, right? Grab a, grab a URL from YouTube, all right? Oh, I don't know what I. And uh, let's find some. So we come to this guy like here, right? We can grab this video, it's on private content. And we'll grab the embed. And we'll come over here and grab our uh, embed code. Right. 560, that looks right. So here's our video, right? And you get all the same things that you've had before, right? The ability to come into the advanced and you can change the margins, right? You can say whether or not you want it to be uh, displayed on, you know, like let's say you were playing with mobile, right? And you said, no, I, I only want to show it on large and medium. So in mobile, whatever text I put here is the main thing and kill the video, right? Um, so you still have the ability to do all those things. Uh, and you also have this ability, notice this, this nice label, right? What are you editing? And you have a whole set of options over here, including Beaver Builder has always had revisions and it's supported revisions for a long time, but the ability to see these and access them very quickly, but you also have this preview piece, right? And so you'll notice they've changed some, some structures here. Uh, the UI you can change uh, to be the, the kind of the dark color, but let's go preview layout, right? There we go. And then watch this. You see, you got these little guys, so I can take a look at it in a variety of different 
capacities there, right? And come right back into my editing mode to keep working stuff through, right? So um, it's, it, there's just a lot that's going on here, right? But the, the nav on the top left here that gives you access to uh, different components, right? Uh, this is a fun one, right? You want to get straight into editing uh, any CSS, you can do that. The preview obviously uh, is helpful. Changing it from the light to dark, right? Some people may find that that's really, really helpful to them. And then, of course, uh, the fact that when you're picking through all of these guys, uh, you now have uh, all of it written in JavaScript. So it's a lot, it's a lot faster. It's a lot better. Let me drag one of these guys into here, right? And you'll notice that. Uh, this shows up in exactly the same spot as where uh, I was doing things. So I can I can move this over here, and if I close this and I go and add something else, like say heading, right? Whoops, sorry, heading. It'll pop up in the same place, right? So sometimes uh, you would get frustrated because it would pop up right in the middle, and you're like, oh, that's not where I want it. Um, so it has some memory. You'll also notice that I can I can drag it into these areas, right, and and stick it right to an edge, and that can be really helpful uh, if you have a lot of configuration that you're doing, right. Um, so a lot of lot of changes to this uh, Beaver Builder 2.0. All of it really really awesome. Uh, I hope you like it.